man, it feels so great to be back in this. It, it right now, the first video that I'm recording set now, the first video Dangarampo is out, so now I know that the series has officially started on my channel. Well, you may not welcome. My name is Yushan May, and welcome to Dangarampa V3. Killing Harmony. This will be the fourth part, and from the last part, we all tried to attempt escaping. But that didn't go so well as well. I don't really need to state it. We, we, we got obliterated. So far, it looks like only Ryoma's around. So let's um, have a chat with Ryoma quick before we meet up with everyone else. So guys, you can be shook. Morning, Ryoma. Oh yeah, also, the first motive was released, which would be the first blood. Whoever gets the first blood gets to leave here first, scot-free, apparently. Oh. Oh. We're way past morning by this point. Huh? Huh? Really? Didn't the morning announcement just play, though? It's an old story. In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. Huh? That early? Yeah. Seven o'clock, six o'clock. In other words... In the day, we do our work and eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls, I lived in a frighteningly disciplined life. I see. Um, I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> healthy body, healthy mind? Not cool. That's a bit of irony. Damn, okay. <laughs> That's right, Yoma was, was a famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Mm -hmm. Did that make him feel bad? Nah, maybe subconsciously, but not deliberately, at least. I am so happy to be back in Danganronpa, though. I will try and uh, upload the other Danganronpa parts when I can, because it's not going to be easy to do them all at once. And there's people all around. Hello, Kokichi. You're still a dick. Right. Good morning, Kaede. Um, morning. Maybe. Man, I slept great last night. You know, this place is alright when there's nothing to worry about. Oh, so... How far have you gone with Shuichi? That's wrong! What? <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what were you imagining just now? I just wanted to know how far you gone exploring this place together, that's all. Because... That's none of your business, Kokichi. Uh... Huh? What's with that attitude? You're so mean. I thought you said we were friends, Kaede. <laughs> you were lying this whole time! <laughs> I'm not gonna do that cry. Stop it. Yeah, well, you're lying too. Oh, wow, Kaede. You know how to stand your ground, don't you? But you're right, I was lying. After all, we're just strangers to one another. That's why I don't really care what you and Shuichi do. Besides, even friends don't share everything with each other. Huh? huh? Because? I'm more nervous around friends who share too much than strangers, really. Wow. I, I know what he's on about. He's wary of everyone else. Wise idea or stupid idea is up to you. Oh yeah, I actually managed to up the graphic quality as well. Because apparently it was only on high, but I've managed to find a way to put it on very high. Let's talk to Kaon. Um. She's cool. Good morning, Kaidi. Uh, morning, Kibo. As I thought. Everyone appears to have gathered at the dining hall again. I see. Yep, looks like it. For now. I'm thinking about heading over there as well, but... But... I... Oh, nothing. I was just wondering. When someone is going to come rescue us? It's been almost a full day since Monokuma was dispatched. But our situation hasn't changed. <laughs> I'm just speculating, but what if... Only Monokuma knew about this place? What if this location is not on any map? What if no one is coming to rescue us? Huh? Ooh. This is quite an impressive robot, because that means he's, he's having quite very human emo emotions. Means. Maybe we'll just be forgotten. No one will ever find us again. Jeez. Don't say that. Besides, we should be trying to escape, not waiting for someone to rescue us. That's right. Y yes. I apologize. I was overthinking things. As I thought. It would be impossible to discreetly construct a facility such as this in the first place. Plus, if the professor knew I was missing, he would not rest until he found me. Who is this professor is what I want to know. The most of, because he has hair that looks a lot like Makoto. With his technology, he would rescue us, no matter where on earth this place is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's smart enough to build him, so he's got to have some brains, and somebody's down this way. <gasps> oh no, a tour girl. Oh, I literally just... <laughs> she just disintegrated. Angie. That's right. Yeah. Good morning, Katie. Oh. 
Morning. Hmm. I see, I see. You are finally ready to make an offering. Huh? Right now? <laughs> sorry. So sorry. I have I have anemia. I still have anemia. Huh? That's a bummer. Major bummer. This is a problem now. I need an offering for someone to thank a tour for smiting Monokuma. Make sure you eat a big breakfast, okay? Soon your anemia clear hope your anemia clears up soon. And she's still a nut job. I is she serious about offering my blood? Yes, she is serious. Unless she's got a really big old case of chimbio, which I do not want to think. Let's go in anyway. I don't I hope anybody's not down in the area down there. Well they sh they shouldn't be, because we're supposed to be heading this way. Oh, um, time for crazy athletics girl that hates uh, all men. Hey, Tenka, that's right. Morning, Tenko. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. Good morning. Jeez. Oh, what was that all about? Um. Well, I haven't done much training since I got here, so I did some light exercise in the gym. But I'm still full of energy, so I'm shunned to burn it off. I don't think that's how exercise works, but okay. I see. By the way. Any anyway, exercise makes me hungry, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna go head to the dining hall. See ya. Okay. Bye then. <laughs> Is anybody down this way, I think? Nope. Let's just head over to the dining hall. Make a little bit of steps. Hey, and we level to level ten. Sniggy? What have you got anything to say? Guess not. Huh? What's wrong? Seems like Look at this. My nails are all messed up. It probably happened when we came here, and I know I can't take good care of them. Um, Your nails? Um, I understand. You're surprised that, that plain old me cares about my nails, right? No. Well, not really. No, anybody would care about their nails. Mine aren't the greatest in the world, but still. When you say nails, you mean nail art, right? I've never done it before. I see. Oh, I see. Nails are just playing, getting away when playing piano, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they would do. I see. As a pianist, you're pretty strict about stuff like this, I guess. Um. You're exaggerating, but yeah, sometimes I gotta hold back on some stuff. Oh. Well, I guess the middle of a killing game isn't the time to be worrying about nails. Ah, <sighs> I wanna hurry and go home. I think everyone does, but okay. Oh, well, okay, she just walks off after that. Okay, I'm thinking there might be one more person. No? Okay, let's just go to the dining hall. Alrighty then, let's go. Okay. Yeah, and everyone's here. Marvelous. Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood. Nice. Right. Man, for a moment I had no idea what was gonna happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. That's right. Yeah, seriously. Mm -hmm. eh, I slept well last time. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. That's amazing! You did all that with magic? You're amazing, Kimiko! Thanks, B to Atua. Praise B to Atua. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. I see. This Atua seems to act in a secret lot. Because Atua is watching secret over lot. us. Because Atua smells of danger. But when someone coming to get us... 100%. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. Dantaro? Mm -hmm. Why the long face? Oh, no. Oh, it's nothing. I figured no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? That is. What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Hmm. But is this really how it ends? Well, thinking I have blurted that out loud, and now everyone was staring at me. Um. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. Oh. I wonder. Do you wish the killing game would have continued? That's not true. No, not at all. Fucking bitch! Then don't ruin a happy moment, you fucking skank! <laughs> well then. Hmm. Hey, Kaede. I don't know what you're so worried about. But Monokuma is dead now. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know? Uh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> They've got him as a spirit, are you kidding? And that's my cute trip here, come on! Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Monokuma! He's still alive! It's my turn 
No, no, you guys are bl are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ain't calling a Kuma, Kuma. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as a yokai. <laughs> Good, Jiba Kuma, Kuma. What is it, Jiba Kuma? From now on, I'm the headmaster at the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Oh. <laughs> huh? Did I slip up? No, die, you fucking fraud! Go find another card to run you over, and this time stay dead! That's terrible! Oh, jeez. It's such a low-level cosplay. I can't bear to look. Oh, damn. <laughs> From an anthropological point of view. I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yes. Yokai are mythological creatures first, created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were in the embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Man, you guys are buzzkills. I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me. This is why I hate teenagers. I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with an under 10 crowd. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like a kid's toy, so yeah. And now the monocubs. Jeez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Oh. Wait, what? Our forever who we thought was dead is actually alive! Hey. No way! Papa Kuma too is too hip and monitors are to the deafest cheap trope! The yokai did it! The, the yokai did it! Yeah! No, that bit's already over. What are you saying? It ain't over yet. I still... I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you should have told us you were still alive! We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, if I'm a Kumi standing here, then whose body is in the stew pot? <laughs> Which Papa Kumi is the real one? No, saying? they're both real. Hmm? Huh? But, Fire, you said there's only one of each of us. That we're unique, like snowflakes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, there's only one of each of you guys. And I've got loads of spares. <laughs> God, why didn't you have? Why do you get to have spares and we don't? Of course you don't have to get to have spares. <laughs> do you really think that anyone in this cheap day and age could tolerate the devilish cheap Trump? Huh? What does that mean? Got it. But now we know. The school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate the machine, and when you have as many spare pops as you want. Uh oh, and CG. Huh? I want to call. Uh, who do I call for this abuse? Oh, no! <laughs> this is an emotional reunion, so y'all gotta take your licks. Father, your love is smothering us. Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. No more. No more. No. Just no. <laughs> I see you guys. I just get so excited until I can't take it anymore. Yeah! You guys are so cute. Gosh, I want to see what your parents look like. Wait, me. I'm your parents. <laughs> well, that was awkward. <laughs> um, I, sorry, I can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Continue? The killing game is going to continue? What a pain. What a pain. Well, we didn't have to say that time. <laughs> That's not the problem, donkey face! What do you mean? The killing game is gonna continue? I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. You gotta be kidding me. No, it's definitely not okay! Is that right? So that's how it's going to be? If we want to end this, I see. we have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was what was not surprising. And Is that so? Then when did you also then did you also assume this next exciting development? Oh. I'm pleased to announce an additional motive. Oh. An additional motive? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> two days from now, then every student participating in this shit will die. Mold to shreds by countless monokumas from the rumored monokuma making machine. 
But what if that machine isn't real? That means that they would live. So unless oh. you want to end up as pink smears, you might want to take this game seriously. Oh, funny you just say pink smears, Monokuma. Ah. Time limit? What? What? Everyone will die? What? Is this? what? That's not fair! Jeez, why do you guys even come to the school if you're not gonna do the killing game? Shut up! You're the one that forced us to come here! Um, Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless monokumas? I thought we were up once. I thought we were up once time ran out. Let's do it! Damn right! Let the exercise do that thing this time! No! But I'd rather not go through that again. I feel bad if you guys tired yourselves out. Yeah, but... But if we let the exercise get popular, we could have a real cash cow on it. <laughs> Clever! Clever. I get him. The merchandise and rights along would make us richer than Sultan's. Ah, hmm, Sultan's high. Very tempting, but... <laughs> I won't let your kids ruin your futures! You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures! Daddy! Oh. Daddy, you love us so much! Oh, That's enough! Uh -oh. oh, you're still here. Of course, we never left! Why? What are you- why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to pull us through? Hmm? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> <laughs> Then you can say bye bye to the suffering. You bastard! To tell you the truth, Don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? <laughs> You're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well, plus you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. How gory! But the killing game is gory, huh? Starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah! And if they don't play then, if they don't play then, they're dead anyway. And that's way more gory. Hmm, I see. If it's gratuitous, over the top gory, I might be able to stomach that. Wait, what? Isn't that kind of a <laughs> okay? When getting the killing game, then it would be better for you all to just die together. Shut up! Shut up and shut the get the fuck back! Well, what do you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> okay then. Man, Farmer is in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Hell yeah! Hey! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Let's just blow that quickly. Hell yeah! Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kova's return! Yo, money damn! Get some pure organic honey! Pour some honey on me! In the name of the killing! Poor money damn. He's still not saying anything. And there they go! <sighs> I mean, come on. We knew he was gonna be back very quickly. After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Um, what are we going to do? Night time in two days. We'll be here in an instant. Really? There's got to be something we can do. I can't die. No one needs my genius. I don't like that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna die yet. <laughs> die? Everyone's going to die? Is dying the only choice? You don't need to worry. Atua will come. Will welcome you with open arms. Mm. That's after we die, right? Why do I have the feeling that Himiko might be a future killer, and I think Atua girl will actually die? I have a feeling these two will be killers. I'm just saying it now. I think they're going to be killers. I think um, Plant Girl herself, the Mr. S uh, what the. Um, Martial arts girl. I reckon that she. Hmm. I don't know. I think she might end up being killed. Either that or K or or KB. It's kind of hard to tell at this point, but that's supposed to be a surprise anyway. Jeez. 
We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Well then. Did you have a course of main ex did you have a course of action in mind? Shut up! I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. I don't understand. Figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. No can forgive. We gotta fight back then. Um y yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. What kind of Aikido moves can involve sneak attacks? Gonta wanna help Come everyone! Gonta use body! Keep everyone safe! Not cool. You're going to go against those machines barehanded? Isn't that too reckless? <laughs> I want Ryoman to be a survivor. But, but, we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. But Wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. Terrifying. We've no time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting, or die from the time limit. Stop it! Why do you both involve us- Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna make sh make it no matter what. N no matter what? That's wrong! Wait! You can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. Then you'll accept the blame? Huh? Ooh, hold on a minute. Because. Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who'll be sad if I die, you know. Um. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if the same can be said for everyone else. So that means. Anyway, I'm gonna take off now. Oh. Take off? Where are you going? Where are you going, Kokichi? Kokichi. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over. Alone. Ooh. The fuck's going uh, alone on? in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Oh. I think she'll get killed, sadly. Mew? I... <laughs> Not that I try to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> Talking to you is exhausting. I'm gonna go to my room and rest. Mew, you better not do anything shady, okay? I'm worried. There is no need to worry, is there? No one is going to kill anyone, right? Hmm. If someone is going to kill, they should just go for the robot. No way! Jeez, that's even worse! Hmm. hmm, so everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? Oh, Kuriki, what are you doing? How mysterious. Of course I know it to be against the law. But lords are simply rules people decided upon. This is a space removed from those rules. Therefore, we've no need to follow them. That's enough! Don't say stupid shit like that! Even kids know killing is bad! It's common sense! However... Even if it is to survive? We are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? What? <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. So you've no need to fear me. He's off, isn't he? Yep, he's gone. <laughs> uh, Keo? Hmm? The males in the soft sciences are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. He's right, yeah. If we want to stay alive, standing around grumbling's not gonna change anything. Well, as things are, we're not gonna- we're not all going to escape together. We're not- we're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? He actually seems scared then. Stop it. Hold on everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. I'm right already. You can decide that on your own. Huh? The ultimate, um... The ultimate, um, what? Oh, she's the, um, uh, she's the one that's good with children. Uh, I keep forgetting what her quirk is. Your half ass speeches won't work on us anymore, you know that, right? Then. So just come up with a plan for yourself. And like that, the circle is broken. Uh, wait, Maki, wait! Well then. I'm just gonna pray to Atua. Bye then, Psycho Girl. <laughs> Yeah, can I just go th think by myself for a little? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. 
Ah, all that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? He has an interesting pillow, I hear. But, wait, you guys! That's wrong! You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma! <laughs> everyone, what's wrong? Why everyone scatter? <laughs> Fine then, all of you just do whatever you want! This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? Huh? Rantaro? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, he says. How should I hey, this? I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does that ultimate does the ult does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate hunt? Um Oh uh, no, it doesn't for me. What is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Forget it. Huh? Ah, so he has some knowledge that we don't know. Excuse me. What do you mean, Rantaro? No, no. It's nothing really. I'm just a bit confused as all. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. I'm sorry. So I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that doesn't make that don't make sense sometimes. Interesting. I think he's gonna be a very interesting character. He's gonna be around for a bit. Rantaro. Without looking back, Rantaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone, so why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and planned this entire killing game, it's all their fault. Yep, pretty much. So, do we talk with everyone? Gonta, how are you? Maybe. Fight Monokuma! That's the only choice we have! Gonta, work hard for everyone! Exactly! I will harness the power of Neo Aikido. Oh yes, she's the ultimate Aikido master. For the sake of all girls! It's no use. I understand how you feel, but it's no use. There's no way for us to win in a fight. But... But, but Gonta no can do anything else! That is troubling. However, is it wise to charge into a battle without strategy? That's right. That's true. I get where Gonta's coming from, but we should calm down and think this through. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing I have to speak to everyone. Me, what are you thinking? Um. Hey, Kirimi, what do you think we should do? That is troubling. It seems we still must find a clue before we can begin cooperating with one another. But even if we manage to do that, we are still trapped here. Uh. Geez, all we can do is wait around for the killing game to start. I do not agree. No, I do not think that we should start the killing game. Perhaps can people cannot kill lovers so easily, especially when they harbor no malice. Even when one's life is in danger, it is quite difficult to follow through on the act itself. True. Here we go. You. Yeah, it's time for my last resort. Um. Your last? <laughs> what? Your last resort? It's magic. The magic powder. No. Stop. You shouldn't do that. What are you saying? If you put it on sweets, it's really tasty. It's sweet and salty. I know the secret recipe. Um, hmm. I see. Oh, oh, I see. You meant that. Oh, uh, what? What were you thinking she meant? I mean, don't do anything stupid, all right, guys. So I'll do something about this. I just don't know what yet, but I'll definitely do something about it. We don't have a plan either, and I want to trust him, but he doesn't seem too reliable. He's, a, he's an alright guy though, he hasn't done anything wrong so far. K1? Kibo? Hmm. That ultimate hunt that Rancho mentioned, what do you suppose it is? Any theories, Kaide? No. I don't know. It's the first time I've heard of it. I... It sounds so violent. It sounds like it involves us somehow. Well... No, disregard that. For now. Nobody has a clue what it could mean, so it is illogical to continue thinking about it. Our more pressing concern is the current predicament we find ourselves in. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He's right, so one person left. Come on, Shuichi. What do you think? Um Hey Shuichi, what should we do right now? I'm We need to move. Huh? Huh? Move? Shuichi slightly approached me as if wary of his surroundings and said in a hushed voice. Well that's this morning, before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust from the card reader on the floor. 
So somebody did enter. Oh, I nearly forgot about that. You mean in the library? Uh, okay. Yes. So when he said we needed to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then... Shuichi. Shuichi, can I help you in any way? Uh, of okay. course, Kaede. But we shouldn't... But we should go. We shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What's the matter? What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? Uh, we're not whispering. We're just going to check on something. Hmm. Another thing you want to check is a secret? Um, sorry. All I can say is... Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys what we can es that we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I, believe I see. You. Well, if that's how it is, then I'll believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. It's not like me to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I just work hard enough. Yep. <laughs> So, there we go. Would you like to leave? Yes, sir. We have to leave now anyway that we found out about that. So somebody has opened it. Hey. Are we heading to the library? I suppose Yes. So. I'll tell you everything there. Okay. So the library, if I remember, is on the first floor. Interestingly, we haven't had any free time yet, and the tour girl's there, we're not going to bother talking to her, so goodbye. Uh, <laughs> she's psycho, we're not going to bother. Alright, we already know what her deal is. But that's very, very interesting to hear that that's been moved. Ooh. So, let's see if we can find anything. Hey! Alright, I'll explain everything. First, take a look at the card reader. As Shu Shuichi said that, he moved to the bookcase. He moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. I peeked into the gap of the card reader. <gasps> the dust is gone! I'm... That's right. I checked it right after night time. It started yesterday and the dust was there. But this morning it was gone. So that means someone entered the door during night time. Could it be? That got me thinking. This may sound far-fetched, but perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to this door somehow. Huh? Ooh. Maybe. How so? If I remember, remember what the Mono Cub said? That there's um, a place full of Monokumas? This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Hmm. Um, so there's a machine that can build spare monokumas. Because... Don't explain why we saw monokuma alive and well in the morning. At night time, someone went through this door and activated the machine. And then there's what monokuma just told us. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by night time, two days from now... Then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die! I knew it. The way he phrased it seemed peculiar. Why not just say everyone will die? He went out of his way to specify that students forced to participate will die. Um, huh? But why? That's true. My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't... F oh! That makes sense! Oh, God, so that means there's a traitor among us who will be forced to kill. Right, that makes sense. Oh, that would mean that they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. Huh? And that person is the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma? That's... I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with rules, but if he's trying to protect someone... That would, imply, that would imply that they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? What? Because... I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas... They are the mastermind of this killing game. Nice theory, but how do we manage to prove that? Um. So the person who is responsible for all our suffering is one of us? Uh, okay. Of course, it's just what I've deduced. But it is entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now, they might all try to find the mastermind and be led to murder. I'm... That's why I could only tell you, Kaede. But what if it's you? What if it is you? The mastermind, the one controlling Monokuma. Because, by the sounds of it, he's the only one that came during night time. But if somebody else did come, he's already a big suspect. 
Shuichi. Ah. Uh, oh no, Shuichi. So that means he's probably trying to find a way for me to murder someone, possibly, if he is the one trying to kill me. I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be among us. It's hard to accept, but if it's true, I can't forgive them. Hey. So, what are you planning to do now, Shuichi? We're going to find a mastermind, right? I'm... I'm thinking of taking the risk, just before time expires. I believe the mastermind will come here just before time is up and I can expose them. Huh? Wait, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? That's... I'm extra I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. Okay. Mm. More just read by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine. Why is it rumored? Hmm. To produce a large number of Monokumas, the mastermind would have to come here. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. Well... Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the Mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk. But... But I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. I see. Yeah, so he might be the first one to die, even. Oh, right. I'll take that risk with you. But... Ah, uh, but, Kaede, this is just my deduction. It's possible that I'm wrong. Of course. Yeah, I know. But I've made my made up my mind. You told me about this, so I must mean... So that must mean you trust me, right, Shuichi? Yeah. Then I'll trust you too. Oh, he's gone shy. You know? I mean, I don't have a good idea of my own. So obviously I'll help with you with yours. Mm-hmm. Okay then, let's expose the mastermind together, Shuichi. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. You have a way of encouraging me. Mm. Never expected this to happen, though. I can't believe our enemy is within our group, hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Aww. Now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. But whoever the mastermind is, we'll expose them and help everyone else escape. And when this... And when this is all behind us, we're gonna stay good friends. That's a promise, okay? Uh, okay. Right. He's surprisingly bashful. Did he not interact much with other girls, maybe? After we reapplied the dust to the card reader, I left Shuichi. And returned to my room. Free time now, isn't it? Kaede Akamatsu. His room. Two days from now, at the stroke of night time, that's when the time limit expires. Till then, I guess I'll check on the others. I'm a little worried about them. Free time start. Yeah, we already know about free time. Strength and bonds. Mono machine. If your bond gets strong enough, an intimate event might occur. Nice. But you don't have free time forever. Spending your time with someone passes. Time. You can also end free time by going straight to bed by yourself, days. I mean, I wouldn't skip it, but if you'd rather be alone, that's cool too. Right, so where's the mono machine then? Do we know where the mono machine is? I mean, can we get them? We have nothing other than the bloody <laughs> juvenile's badge. So, that's not good. Hmm, okay, so that means I need to find them. Alright, so I doubt they'll be around here. Maybe there's another area that I haven't seen just yet that might have it. Maybe it will be on the map. Let's check down here first. I'm just thinking maybe it's in that area where we all tried to escape. Maybe. Or maybe it might be over here. Ultimate Inventor Lab. I guess I can't enter. Okay, so there is something here that I wasn't able to access before. That's cool. I doubt it would be in there because it would be a thing just by itself. Most likely. So, chances are it's in the school then. So, that would just be hiding stupidly. I mean, if it's around here. Oh! Oh, yeah, the other entrance to the dining hall. Forgot about that. Woohoo! Okay, we can now run up all the way to this end. Because last time it was only the other end, wasn't it? Ah, okay, so it's just a big loop in the backyard. Let's just check this though, just to make sure there's no mono machine. Or anything like that. Actually, do you know what? It is in the main building, I'm an idiot. 
I know I'm an idiot now for a reason. Because there were some locked doors that I couldn't access before in there. So, chances are it's opened up now. Hey, boy. <laughs> wow, you can speed up so much in this. It's weird. So let's just check the map, the map, map. There we go. To make sure that we don't miss it. Yeah, it's here. School store. So this is where we buy all the gifts. Gifts, sorry. I can't say it properly. What's this? Right. Ah, that's the mono machine. There we go. Alright. Plastic moon buggy model. Okay, so that's for an astrologist. Tatsu music score. Okay, wait, that would be for us though, wouldn't it? Aluminium water bottle. Okay. <laughs> yes! Okay, that's a good little... Um, that's actually wicked. Commemorative medal set. Ooh, that'd be for somebody who likes water. Maybe it's an Olympian. Aluminium water bottle again. Lucky chance, yay! Pocket tissue. Okay, for hygiene, of course. That Again? Give me something new, olive oil. I know, I'm going to be doing this for a second because I want to make sure I have enough for anyone. Blood of man's passion. Hmm. <laughs> What's with the repeats? Milk puzzle? Oh, milk puzzles are horrid. I just remember what they are. They're like blank um, jigsaw pieces. They are a nightmare to do. Cufflinks? Yeah, they're cool. Lucky chance. Marigold seeds. Oh, who ate seeds? Um, so many aluminium water bottles. Screw off with those. Everywhere parasol. Cosmic blanket. Feelings of ham. Non-alcoholic drink of immortality. <laughs> God damn it. That sounds like... Uh, Yours in the shape of. <laughs> What's with some of these items? Wow. I'm a picture book artist. Okay. Sanazen doll. Oh, hello. Rock hard ice cream. Oh, wow. Bo Boba tea. Don't mean bubble tea, computer. Or game. Sikiyaki caramel. Okay. Sikiyaki I've not tried. Bird food. Ooh. That would be for Gonta. Actually, I'm going to go speak with Gonta. That's it. Okay. We're going out of that. So, yes. We'd like to leave. And let's try and see if we can locate Gonta. Because... Wait. Didn't I see... Gonta was outside, wasn't he? Um, if I remember correctly. So let me just come out here and go outside because he was right near the. Uh, oh, damn it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go speak with Gonta because so far he's one of my personal favourites in this game. I, I know I've said that before, but it's still. I did mean it. I did mean it. He is one of my personal favourites at the second. And the Omar, I'm not a big fan of him, although I understand why people would like him as a character. I do. I really do. Gonta! Yes. Killing games sound mean. Why they make us do that? Should I spend time with Gonta? Yes. <gasps> really? Gonta? You sure? Then let's talk. Gonta want to know more about you. About everyone. Yeah. I spent some time talking with Gonta. Just a casual mech in the background. Gonta and I grew a little closer today. Like to get, yes, definitely give them present. All right, bird food. Where was it? Where was the bird food? How to raise hamsters? Oh no! <laughs> the big about racing domestic animals uh, for meat. Oh no, no! Don't give that to Gonta. That's an insult. <gasps> oh god, no! There we go. Would give that to Gonta. Hmm, Kaede like this kind of stuff? 
Gone to think he understand now. Gone to, do Gone to try hard to appreciate gift. I thought that was a pretty good choice. Because it's for the animals and he's the ultimate... He looks after his animals. Still have time before it's night time. What should I... Okay, let's go again. Round two. Ooh, mystery guys here. Um, now I think about it. Let me just have a look at a few little bits about him. Because I'm trying to think of what he would like. Straw ropes. So, he likes electricity. Carbonate drinks for him. Anthropods. Ah. Uh, extra tourist territorial rights. So Rantaro would like the Moon Rover. The Yoma would like Russian Blues. Wow. Alright, so he like house plants, novels. Well, she likes children's television. Okay. Avocados. Ava form. Nunchucks, of course. Morning like sure. Small spaces. Oh, but okay. It's a few people that like that. Cleaning, of course. Yeah, and there's me, of course. Hmm. Okay. So what do I have that he would possibly like? Because he likes string and he believes in humanity's choices. That's a music score. Paracel, stone set could be used anywhere. Pool side, okay, that could be for someone. Round retro bottle having it slung over your shoulder makes you want to go on an adventure. Ceramic doll that spins like a whirling dervish. What should I give them? Oh my god. An extremely handy creature grabber. What you use it? You can't live without it. Oh, if some of you know the reference, it's good on you. Aluminium film that makes an excellent insulation. It warms your body when you wrap it around yourself. Make it handy for outdoor activities. What is this? A model of, of an imaginary weapon. It's powerful, but only the worthy may fire it. Impressed. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's not a lot we could do with her at the second. So marigold seeds. Marigold symbolise despair. Well then, th th that's cool. So let's have a look for someone else then. Because I don't think we can really give him a gift to appreciate that right now. Who's? Oh wait, who's right nearby? Ah, Karate Girl. Mm, even though I don't like you so much, should I talk with her? Who else is Where is everyone else? C can I see the map? Probably not. Uh, there's no one else around here. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna have to run away from you. Okay. I actually want to find uh, Rantaro to have an interesting conversation with him because he seems like a very, very interesting character. So I'd want to chat with him if I could. The problem is telling where everyone else is because not everyone shows up in the map. Maki? Maybe. I mean, she's one that's got me interested because she's so quiet. And not only that, her ultimate talent is uh, ultimate um, kin uh, teacher or something like that, like nursery teacher. And she doesn't like kids. What did it say she liked again? Let's have a look. I'm going to chat with her. Morning Lake Shores. So if she likes Lake Shores, she might like the parasol. Okay, we'll do that. Jeez. It feels like we've just given our ultimate talents on a whim. And now we're in this lousy situation, being an ultimate sucks. Yeah, spend time with Mackie. I don't know why I'm complaining to you. You're stuck here too. And if there's time to complain, I'd rather spend it being productive. Yeah, that's fair enough. I spent some time searching around the school for clues of Mackie. We grew a little closer, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, let's give her a present. Where's our parasol? So I think she'll like that. Yes. 
I don't think it's bad to give presents after spending time. You should really think about the present first before giving it to- Oh, come on! Summer Shores, parasol for the sunny day in case the sun gets too much. Really? Am I really that bad with the present choosing at the second? Ah. Uh, damn it. <laughs> this is an official announcement on the Ultimate Academy. <laughs> As you can see, Monarchid has had a little too much honey. He was really, really happy about Daddy's return. <laughs> now let's play darts! Monadan can be the dart boy! Let's go bowling! Monadan can be the ball! And he's still yeah, not saying anything. By the way, which announcement were we making? The nighttime announcement. What, it's already that late? Then we should go to bed soon. <laughs> yeah, Monarchid's asleep. There we go, at least it's a bit different than uh, the last yeah. one. It's already night time. At this rate, the time that will expire before we know it. Actually, let me check. Did um, me speak to them still raise our relationship at least? Nope, it did not. Because I gave the wrong gift. Damn it. Because I want to see everyone smiles just a little longer. I want to spend time with them, laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So I won't give up. Oh, Monokuma Theater, before we end this off. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But you can't give her any present. It's gotta be a present suited to her tastes. And it's gotta be a handmade present too. So it looks like you put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady who's into a strong man will love a handmade. Relishing group. She'll love being surrounded by macho dudes, and you'll make money off the wrestlers too! If enough wrestlers get popular, then it might be good to host a big event! And after they're done beating up each other, they can fight over other pro wrestling groups. Okay. Just give it a shot, and I'm positive you'll win her heart! Somehow I don't think that'll work. I just have that feeling. Huh? Is it morning now? <laughs> Rise and shine or shine! Well, the kid's still out. <laughs> this is an announcement! Uh, this is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy! It is now It is AM! Time to wake up! Let's have a wonderful Killing School semester today! Jeez, oh, Mana Kid really drank too much honey. How long is he gonna keep sleeping? Right now. Mon, I'm still not gonna say to me. Oh, by the way, fire is time limit expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. So long, farewell. Okay, we're running out of time. Time limit ends tomorrow night. Shuichi is gambling on that, which means we have to watch the library while time is running out. Shouldn't we start preparing then? I'm getting worried. Huh? Oh, Shuichi, perfect timing. We're just gonna see. Oh, actually, no. Never mind, that's just fine. <laughs> I'll end it there. <laughs> because um, now that I think about it, it's probably best to end it like this. Because that way we could just see just who is on the other side of that door. And also, I might need a hand with knowing some of the presents. Because I don't think that I've got quite the hang of them just yet. So, if you guys can clue me in on what presents can work with who, that would be a lifesaver. And I'd appreciate you for it. Please! So, I've got nothing else to say for this part other than thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want any more from me. And I shall see you in the next video. So, did you guys? I'll most certainly see you next time. You the outro.